What's good team exclusive and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today is the day of course we've got the foot freeze promo which has now been released and of course we've got icon swaps in the game. I haven't seen what icons they've released in icon swaps. I know it's six I believe it is. Um, so looking forward to seeing that but of course as you can see behind me and of course down there we've got uh, a few players to look at. We've got um, Ferrati. 80, wait, 88, he's a left mid. Interesting choice, he's got a huge pace boost. 84 shooting, 87 passing, 91 dribbling. So, I didn't think he was that quick. Maybe, I I don't know, I never really um, noticed that, but we've got Casimir, wait, so they've position changed all the players. That's pretty cool. So we've got a center back, Casemiro, who actually looks really good as a center back. Perfect link to Edo Militao. We've got striker Mane. Not so much of a crazy position change, because I think he, he probably would get informs there, but I mean, that 92 rated card is insane. Bernardo Silva is a cam. Very interested in that. Very interested in that. Hopefully he's not too expensive, because of course he could rival the Bruno Fernandes SPC, and then a right mid Martinez. Very, very interesting. I assume there's more than just, what's that, six? Hopefully there's a loading screen, so we can um, have a look at some of these players, but... Maybe, maybe not. Might have to go to Foothead. It uh, looks like it probably would. So, Foot Freeze. Of course, we've got SBCs. Uh, we're not going to have a look at that just yet. So, in objectives. Ooh, ooh, yo, damn. Okay. Saying damn to that um, that card design. That is. I mean, obviously, I've seen it before, but it's still, it's still so, so nice. Balassi, an 85 cam objective player. 86 pace, uh, 85 shooting, 80 passing, 84 dribbling, and 81 physicals. Very, very good looking card to be fair for a cam. You have to score two or more goals in three separate matches. Of course, in the uh, uh, managerial masterpiece, uh, foot frame is game mode, assist 10, score 15, score four outside the box, okay. That's not terrible. And then win seven, so that's actually not bad at all. That is not too bad. Um, yeah, very easily achievable. Um, I, I really like that card as well. Uh, he's, I didn't actually realise he was still at Everton, but uh, an 85 rated free Premier League player looks good. Maybe a little bit, little bit behind the power curve, but I think 40 years he's a bit of fun and it looks really nice. So can't go wrong. Now I'm hoping, before we look at this, there's only six icons in icon swaps. Of course, they're going to have packs and other things like, you know, hopefully mid and prime icon packs as well to get. Um, but I'm hoping they haven't done what they did last last time which was release like seven tokens and then release the other seven in january or whatever i'm hoping they've just given us all the tokens said go on you know play for it get it get whatever icon or whatever pack you want when you want instead of limiting us to get half the tokens for this icon swaps now that's what i'm hoping so icon swaps number one we have got Hmm, interesting. So you can get one, two, three, four, five. Three, five, yeah. So you can get five icon swaps. So, uh, so you can get five tokens, sorry, in this one section. Uh, you've got win six matches in the Foot Friendly One League um, with at least five first owned Premier League players. It's uh, still going the same route of first owner players as they did last time. Very interesting. Win six matches with at least five first owner players. Win six matches. Oh, with Serie A, first owner Serie A players. Okay. Win six matches with at least five first owner Liga Santander players. Bundesliga, win six. So why have they done? Oh, okay, it's win six with five. Okay. And then uh, score ten in ten separate matches to get a two rare gold players pack. Why? Score in 20 separate matches to get a two rare gold players pack. Why? And then score 30 to get a premium gold players pack. Why? Why are the rewards so garbage every time? Like, what? Why are you giving us a two rare gold players pack? Hold on. Two rare gold players. Two rare gold players. Two rare gold players for scoring in 10 separate matches. That's 10 games if you score in every one of them. Okay. And then scoring 20 separate matches for the same reward why yep so you can get eight tokens okay eight tokens of course that uh, romero 
very good looking silver again either way so you can get eight tokens if i've done my maths correct eight tokens um in the game can i see so we've got a player spc of cdm marquinhos wow okay 85 blasty let's not spoil anything so let's jump into the spcs of course we have the marquinhos 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 uh one squad now what are we saying so he's a cdm he's got eight pace very well well rounded for you know cdm cm kind of card uh brazilian good links um very good looking card actually let's have a look at his stats so three star three star medium high he's pretty much perfect for a cdm isn't he passing incredible um dribbling it's actually very good composure ball control reactions agility is not bad as well and then defending and physicals are very very good a piece and pace isn't bad again you could really boost up some of those things with a chemistry style. Say if you stuck a hunter on him, obviously it'd be a bit of a waste for the shooting, but he'd have really good pace then. Um, overall, that's actually a very good card. So what are we saying? An AT... I would say if they were going to be fair, if they were going to be fair, it would be an 85 rated squad with a team of the week. If they're not, it would be an 86. Or if really being harsh, it would be an 88. See what we're saying. An 86. Wow. Okay. Not team of the week though. So just uh, an 86 rated squad. It's not bad. To be fair, that is not bad at all. I don't think... I think an 86 rated squad is about 100, 120k. Could be a little bit off, but I think it's... If we're saying maximum, it's probably about 120k. And I actually don't think that's too bad for an 87 rated Markinos. About 100, 150k maybe. So very good, very good... Um, looking player i might see if i can do i actually have enough players to complete him i don't think i do i kind of rinse my club doing uh jao felix but um let's just see so i've got an eleno so many fours not quite not quite i might have to try and um get somebody to do that but uh, of course then we've got the bruno fernandez player of the month as i'm pretty sure you've seen by pretty much everybody else he's about a million coins it's just crazy just crazy he, he's most likely if not going to get a team of the year because of course it's fan voted so he might get a team of the year but if not he's pretty much pretty much a shoe in for team of the season surely isn't he so i think unless you really are obsessing over bruno then it's probably best to hold off on him uh, honestly if i find the puzzle sbc before we find the icon swaps um so freeze challenge you get a mega pack what do you have to do to complete the mega pack you have to do 77 rated squad, rare players two, uh, players from the same nation maximum three, players from one club maximum four, leagues minimum four, that is very, very easy. Chemistry 95 though, so actually not so easy. Uh, I'm actually going to try and complete this and I'll be back in two seconds. And there we go, so it uh, took me ages, I have no idea why, I was just being so stupid. For some reason, cam to centre mid cards have gone completely extinct, especially on the uh, PC market, but anyway, there's my team that I built. Um, probably shouldn't use this guy as he's no longer at Arsenal, but I don't use him. And I mean, I could just sell him for 7k, but I really just don't care. Um, uh, probably used a lot of players that I probably shouldn't again, but it's just players I have in the club and I don't want to go buy players because they're all very expensive at the moment. But anyway, let's get rid of that and move on. So we'll have a bit of a pack opening at the end. At least we've got a fairly nice mega pack, untradeable, of course, but, um, yeah, there is also a loan, I wanted to mention out, there's a, a loan of Marquinhos. So if you didn't want to try him out for three games, a bit stingy, um, you can you can do just that with um, Team Country 40 minimum silver, one gold player, one Brazilian. See, that's what it should be. Uh, whereas I think they've done the loans for like icons, like, you know, they're actually seemingly quite expensive just for loans. But anyway, there's that. So let's jump over to icon swap, see what we're dealing with. Very, very excited to see what kind of players I'm hoping there's some actually usable and worthwhile players that we actually want to get or that can get excited about. So without further ado, let's have a look. So first one, you get two, exchange two icon swap, token, one tokens um, to earn two ultimate packs. Okay, 85 pack times five, 85 plus rare players, five pack. Very interesting for three tokens. And then we've got an 83 plus 25 pack. So three, so 25, 83 plus players. 
for three to for five tokens, sorry, very interesting. So it looks like they are going to limit us to the amount of tokens we can earn. So you can only earn eight, um, which is interesting to say at least. But it's really interesting. The first one is two ultimate packs. Very, very interesting. Of course, the next one is 85 Nemanja Vidic. Nemanja Vidic for seven tokens. So you can get him straight away if you do want him. Good looking card. I think he's about 800k on the market. 700, 800k. Might be a bit cheaper than that. Um, quality center pack to be fair. Next one we've got is the base icon pack for eight. Then we've got uh, Haji, 89. I think that's his mid. Is it or is that his base? I think, that, I think that's his mid. I'm not sure. Uh, either way, 89 rated Haji. Quality center mid to be fair. Quality center mid for nine tokens. Eight tokens course base icon pack. Um, which, uh, I don't know, arguably may not be worth it. I'm not too sure. Uh, 10 is a base or mid icon pack. So exchange 10 icon swap tokens to earn a pack containing a base or a mid icon player. That's a bit shit. That's a bit shit. Mainly because the majority of them probably will be base icons. Um, you know, that's not to say that you can't get lucky and get mids, but I think it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit crap that is. Uh, either way, Davos Suka for 11. Um, I'm not sure which one that is. That might be his base. Not entirely sure. Um, I mean, the thing about him, unless you really like, unless you really like Suka or like the team he played for, obviously he did play for Arsenal, so, um, but uh, quite prolific at Sevilla and, and Madrid. Um, yeah, unless you're like a Croatian fan or you're a fan of Suka, he just doesn't look that great, to be honest to me. I'm not sure. I haven't played with him in game, so I could be, could be totally, he could be a beast in game. Who knows? But uh, 11 tokens will get you Suka. Now, from mid icon pack, it's going to get you 12, which isn't actually too terrible. Four more than um, what you can earn currently. So if you earn six and then six next time, you'll get yourself mid icon. It's not bad. It's not bad. Ronald Koeman, 91. Oh, yo, that's his prime, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Pretty sure he's got 85, which I've got, sadly. Um, then he's 88 and 91. So very nice. Prime. I'm going to go with Prime um, Komen. Good looking centre back. I mean, arguably probably shouldn't be a centre back. Probably should be more of like a CDM, CM kind of player. Very good shooting stats. Good passing. You know, okay dribbling for what he is. G agility obviously being probably the poorest stat of all of them. Defending and physicals. Very, very nice. So for 13 tokens, you get yourself a yeah, Prime Icon Komen, I actually didn't see that at the top there. But uh, Prime Komen, very nice. So if you want a Prime Icon, you can get yourself that for 13 tokens. Um, prime Icon Frank Rijkaard for 14. Very good looking CDM. Um, probably not something I'm going to go for. I mean, maybe. If I can get 14, maybe. Um, don't know, to be honest. He looks all right. It's just shooting's a bit terrible. I suppose for a CDM, it doesn't really matter. Pace is good. Passing's good, dribbling's okay, balance is a bit, yeah. Defense and physical's very, very nice. And then for 15, you get yourself mid or a prime icon pack as well. Not too bad, I suppose. Not too bad. Uh, and then 89, ooh, yo, hold up. So for 16 icon swap tokens, you can earn yourself a pack containing a mid icon rated 89 over or higher. Interesting. Base icon player pick for 17. Exchange 17 icon swap tokens for one of th of three base icons. Interesting. And then Thierry Henry. Yo. Mad. I was kind of hoping that might be his um his prime, but it's his left wing 90, which I'm not overly excited about. Um containing a mid icon Thierry Henry. So obviously what well, we've got eight. So supposedly there's going to be nine, nine tokens released, um, unless I miscounted them, there's going to be nine tokens released whenever they do the next set of tokens. Um, and you get yourself a Thierry Henry, very, very nice, there for 62 days. So, wow, it's actually a lot of stuff, to be fair, a lot of stuff. Um, I'm just trying to think, out. yeah, a mid, a mid Suka, have all Suka and mid, uh, what is it, yeah, mid Haji, and then that was yeah a base Nemanja Vidic. So not the, to me, obviously for me, not the most exciting icons. I think they could have released uh, Haji. I'm just not too interested in. 
Uh, obviously, no Andrew Vidic. He's good, but I'm just not really too interested in it. Suka, same. Just not really too interested. Coman, again. And not too interested in Rijkaard. I mean, Rijkaard's good. He actually probably is one of the mo more desirable ones for me. Um, and then you've got Thierry and Root, which obviously, as an Arsenal fan, is very, very nice. But just just not a big fan of that left, left wing stuff. Uh, either way, I think some of the packs you can get, like the player pick, is very interesting. You've, you know, like um, 89 plus mid icon is very interesting as well. I do want to have a look. So I'm going to go to, um, where are we? Book bin. Okay, so apologies about that. OBS uh, kind of shut the bed. But let's have a quick look at, um, before we do our final little pack opening for Tay, let's have a look at, I'm going to have a look at icons because I want to see what kind of um, uh, 89 rated mid icons you can actually get so get all those get everything on page one so there's quite a lot of 90s i think um you can obviously see why they chose 89 rated was it 89 or higher hold on just have a quick look so uh mid icon prime 89 plus okay so it is a icon plus very interesting right so so you can get yourself a christian vieri you can get a david beckham mid uh, you can get Bastion, Schweinsteiger, Larm, Kelmy, Rush, Drogba, Kaka, Hugo, Sanchez, Balak, Gerard, Trezeguet, Socrates, Closer, Nedved, Shearer, Scholes, Moore, Lineker, Giggs, um, Fernando Hierro, Cannavaro, Edwin van der Sar, Laudrop, Hadji, Blanc, Hernandez, Eto, Eric Cantona, 90 rated, and then Kenny Dalgleish. So they're all 90. Oh no, so you can't get Christian Vieri. My my apologies, I didn't see his 88, but uh, anything above uh, a Beckham onwards, you can. A very nice selection, to be fair. And then, of course, uh, the last one, you can get a Pirlo Torres. Uh, oh, no. You can get Pirlo, uh, Carlos Alberto, Rivaldo, Butcher Grano, um, Stoichkov, Van Nistelrooy, Figo, Nesta, Best, Hullet. Carlos Poyo, Thierry Henry, you've got Schmeichel, Dennis Bergkamp, uh, Alessandro Del Piero, Baggi, Baggio, sorry, uh, you get Cruyff, Yesebio, uh, Baresi, Marco Van Basten, Ronaldinho, uh, Lev Yashin, you get uh, Mateus Puskas, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, Puskas, uh, you get Garincha, Maldini, Zidane, Ronaldo, Diego, Maradona, and Pele. So that actually, in fairness, in fairness, giving credit to EA, which I don't always do, um, but there's actually not that many icons you can choose from. For an 80 plus, obviously the chances are you probably would get an 89, 89 rated icon, right? Majority of people probably would. I don't know. Maybe they won't because the base icon pack were, or the packs were kind of, kind of a bit cracked. Um, that's not to say some people didn't get stinkers. It's just a roll of the dice, isn't it? But uh, what I mean, you've got like two pages on Foothead. That's I, well, I'm actually going to count them. But yeah, so um, you've got 59 icons to choose from, and uh, one out of 59 to get a really good icon isn't bad. Do what with those odds you will. Uh, I mean, one out of 59, I don't think it's bad. So we're talking about good icons now. Let's choose three. So Hullet, Thierry Henry. And we'll go with Eusebio, right? So, say those three, or Cruyff, Eusebio, and Ronaldinho, for example. One out of one out of fifty-nine chance to get those isn't bad. And arguably, they're all you know, it's eighty-nine plus. So there isn't really a terrible icon you can get. I mean, obviously, there's ones you probably don't want to get. But I mean, if you get an eighty-nine rated icon, it's not going to be that bad. Surely, like Balak, not bad. All that kind of stuff. So I think no matter which one you choose, besides maybe um, Schweinsteiger, maybe is a bit bit of the. Uh, still, he still isn't bad though. Maybe David Beckham is maybe the worst one at uh, being a right mid, but either way, he's still a very usable icon. Raquel may maybe as well. Ian Rush possibly the same. I think there's a few duds in there, but overall, it's actually. Excuse me. It's actually not terrible. It's actually not terrible at all. So don't think it's actually that bad of a choice having that. Uh, obviously, it's 16 tokens, so um, it's up to you. It's up to you, really. But I think that's actually very good. Overall, can't really complain. Can't really complain. I don't think the, the icon players are all that amazing for me, personally. For other people, may well be. But for me, 
not terribly excited. I might try and go for the Henri if I can be bothered, but uh, it, it does require quite a bit of playing um, to do that. So just want to see if there's any other icons released into the icon tab. It doesn't look like it. Burkamp, Veron, Hernandez, got Figo, eight days left on those. So hopefully there might be some more in about a week or so. Um, and nothing new in there. So as far as I'm aware, that's everything in the SBC section. I do believe prime icons are now in packs. I could be wrong, but I believe that's how it, how it's going to go down. Prime icons are now in packs. 51 prime icons are now in packs for the remainder of FIFA 21. Base icons no longer available in packs. Obviously, they're showcasing Hullet 93, 96 Ronaldo, and 98 Pele. Damn. I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Well... There's that, that's pretty much everything that's gonna be in store today. So before we continue with the pack opening, I do wanna quickly mention these are the freeze players in packs. Um, so we've got a 83 CDM Sane, which we can have a quick look at, 83 CDM Rodriguez. We've got uh, Golovin, right back, got a Nani Cam, left back Terea uh, from Atletico, left mid, um, Verratti, Hazard at striker, Martinez right wing, Silver Cam, Belassi Cam, we've already seen him, Mane, a striker and then centre back a uh, Casemiro. So let's have a quick look at those players. So CDM Sane. Wow, he actually is uh, not very much. He's about 50k. Probably will fall to about 50k. Um, overall, doesn't look all that exciting. I mean, CDM probably will do a job for you. Quite a cheap player, but overall, don't really care too much. Um, 83 CDM, same kind of problem. He's just a bit, bit terrible. Not overly that bad pretty hard to link as well but Syria if you need if you need a CDM from Syria who's okay he could uh, he could do a job for you but he looks he looks average at best about 30k at the moment so that's not terrible for like you know defending that kind of stuff what you need it to be chemistry style could uh, do a job and Golovin I'm not sure who is really going to care about this guy he's obviously from Ligun Russian um got a very nice right back card in fairness Good pace, okay defending, okay physicals. What we're talking about, good stamina, good defensive um, stats where you need it to be. Passings okay. Chemistry style could boost that a little bit. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit on the low side. Dribbling's very nice, pace is good, and obviously shooting is not uh, not really relevant on a right back. But uh, yeah, good looking card, very cheap as well, fifty thousand coins. So if you need a, you know, a Lee Gun, which isn't many right backs from Lee Gun, he could um, he could do a bit of a job as well. And then Nani, yeah, look at that hair as well. Um, very nice cam as well, quite cheap, a bit on the low side. Obviously, he is from the MLS, but um, finishing's pretty bad. Pace, I mean, it's okay, it's just a weird split as well. Passing's nice. Physical, or well, the physicals, yeah, are pretty low. Stamina's pretty low, strength low. Dribbling's very nice, as you'd expect as well. What is he? Five star, three star. So, okay card. I don't think he'll stay at 100k i think it's probably just you know new release of new cards um but he'll probably drop so okay card and then left back today good looking left back as well good defense good physical okay passing but we're talking about yeah short and long passing very nice actually so passing's pretty irrelevant um he's got good crossing as well good maybe offensive fullback good defensive stats where you need it to be good dribbling so actually a very enticing card. I actually like that a lot. You don't, you know, there's not, I don't think there's a whole lot of competition for um, uh, Liga Santander left backs. And he uh, he could put up a fight, to be fair, against the Mendes and all that kind of stuff. So very, very nice. I actually might consider it, you know, because I have Jimenez, so he perfect link and all that. So anyway, Marco Verratti. What was his base? So he's had a uh, plus 24 pace boost, plus 24 shooting, plus two passing. Four physicals, 27 defending, and one dribbling. Oh no, he's a, oh sorry, he's a minus, um, minus defending um, boost. Can you call it a boost? I don't even know. He's had a minus uh, downgrade rather, downgrade on on defending, which is interesting, very very interesting. So he's got again a bit of a weird, a really weird pace split. So he's he's gonna run up to his top speed really quickly but his top speed is not very good so overall this 88 pace is a bit misleading because he's not actually going to be that quick um 
the shooting's quite nice. I mean, it, it, let's just have a look. So, yeah, he's had plus 25 finishing. Definitely, definitely needed. He's one of those players that um, just couldn't shoot. He always had, like, 50 shooting. So, it's nice to see he's got a very good uh, good shooting boost. Good passing. He's got very good passing. Dribbling, exceptional. You know, kind of perfect dribbling, really what you need. Defending, obviously, has been downgraded. And then um, physical is actually not bad, besides strength. So... Overall, he's not a terrible left mid, but it just beggars belief why you'd want to play him left mid. I don't know. I don't quite understand that position change. You know, he could have made, I suppose, it'd be interesting. I don't know. Maybe put him a striker. That could have been quite cool. But uh, either way, don't really care too much. Um, Hazard at striker going from left mid. Very nice boost all across the board. 10 shooting, 4 pace, all that kind of stuff. Um... Yeah, very good pace. Good shooting as well. Okay passing. Not brilliant for long passing, but short's quite good. Dribbling's very nice as well. And then uh, physicals are not bad. So actually, he's actually a very interesting and very nice looking card for 230k at the moment, which I, I imagine that would drop. He's only 86 rated, so he'll probably get packed a fair bit, but um, actually a very good looking card. So if you need a Bundesliga striker, he could, be, he could, do, uh, could do a job for you. Martinez. At right, uh, right wing, eight pace, one shooting, eight passing, eight dribbling, and uh, what he said, a minus two on physical. Very interesting. Very interesting as well. I just want to see what kind of downgrade he's had. So he's had like minus two jumping, two stamina, two strength, and two aggression. It's very interesting they downgraded some stats. It's, you know, I do like that. Uh, they did it on the rule breakers, didn't they? It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. But it, incredible pace. Really good shooting. Okay passing. Very, very exceptional. Dribbling and uh, physicals are actually very good as well. Four star, four star. Four star, four star. Very, very good looking right, uh, right winger. 400k. I think that's probably semi-warranted. Bernardo Silva at Cam. Very expensive. So he's had... What he's had, he's had a downgrade on pace and physical by... Th Ooh, wait. No, he's had a downgrade on... Uh, on dribbling and defending. So he's had a downgrade on dribbling and defending by a little bit. But he's had an upgrade on pace by 4, 8 shooting and 6 passing. And, uh, and plus 3 physicals. Obviously 700k. I think that's, uh, again, probably quite warranted. Good pace. Very good shooting, incredible passing, good stamina, okay physicals, incredible dribbling. He looks like a very, very good looking card, a very scary looking card to come up against in the weekend league. Uh, 88 rated Cam, can't argue with that at all. And then the last one today is Sadio Mane. So he's had plus five shooting, plus two passing, plus five physical, plus one defending and plus three dribbling. So he's had an all, all across the board besides pace upgrade um only plus one on his oh so his inform 91 so that had a downgrade on pace he's had an upgrade on shooting uh upgrade on physicals by three and upgrade on dribbling two so a very nice upgrade to be fair um very again interesting that they're like downgrading some of the stats i actually don't mind that at all not that it makes much difference going from 95 to 94 pace but uh, yeah incredible um, pace, incredible finishing, shooting, that kind of stuff, positioning, passing, needs a little bit of work, but it's not terrible, dribbling, exceptional, uh, and actually physicals are very, very good, it's um, very reminiscent of like a team of the year Ronaldo, it's not quite there, but he, you know, got the physicals, he's got uh, the dribbling, the, you know, the shooting, the pace, that kind of stuff, so again, scary looking card, but four star, four star, um, insane, and the last one, I told a lie, last one today is the centre-back, Casemiro, very interesting that he's, uh, he obviously hasn't been packed at all yet. Just want to have a quick, oh, get that out of the way. Let's have a quick check, see what's really going on. If he's actually, so he actually hasn't been packed yet. He's got a price range of 380, which is uh, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So he's had a plus 13 pace boost. He's had a minus eight shooting, plus one on passing, plus one on physicals, plus four on defending and plus one on dribbling um again i'm questionable at center back 
I, I really like the position change. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's just, you know, whether or not I'd actually play him at centre-back or not. Um, I don't know. Physical's incredible. Defending, incredible. Dribbling, not bad for a centre-back, I suppose. Composure, ball control, reactions, all that kind of stuff is okay. Um, not that anything really, uh, anything else really matters. Pace is actually quite good. Acceleration is a bit low, but sprint speed is quite high, so not terrible. Um, shooting, obviously, doesn't really matter. Uh, passing is very nice as well. It's just, it's just a bit of a weird card. It's just a bit of a weird card. Um, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to make of it, because I don't, like, even if you subbed him on as, like, a CDM, I don't know if he'd be that good. He might be. He might be, I don't know. But uh, not not the biggest boost, obviously, besides besides pace, uh, which I think is very wanted. But it's quite nice to see that EA are making um, players a little bit more, a little bit more relevant. A little bit more relevant and a little bit more usable, to be fair, which is actually very, very nice. So that was the players. Let's get on with the... Get, get on with our little pack opening uh, and finish these off because it's quite a long video, I imagine. Um, so, see if we can see if we can pack one of these foot freeze cards. I'd like to see the flare. I might have to go check it out on YouTube because I can't imagine I'll pack one. But I'd like to see the flare of what it's going to look like when you actually pack one. Um, because, yeah, I don't know. If it's like a white flare, that could get really confusing with um, icons. So... Okay, oh, yeah, a loan pack. Let's go. Big ups, the loan pack. Jumbo premium gold pack. Let's go. Let's see if we can get any luck out of these. Walk out. Let's go. Yo, what's this? What's this? My game's froze. Oh, Polish striker. It's going to be Lewandowski. Let's go. My game kind of shut the bed a little bit. It really is shit in the bed. I don't know what's going on. Lewandowski, 91 rated. Let's go. That's a pretty big pull. Joint, wait. No, it, yeah, second highest rated player I've packed this year on FIFA 21. Let's go. Big ups to Robert Lewandowski. Um, anybody else? No, but we have a 91 rated player in the club that we can use for SBCs, which I don't mind that at all. Uh, we get a thousand coins as well. Um... Wow, there you go. Who would have thought I'd have a jumbo premium gold pack? We pack a 91 rated Lewandowski. Damn. Damn. Can't say no to that at all. Cannot say no to that. No boards. Nothing in this one. But yeah, I'm really interested to see what the um, what that kind of flair is going to look like. Because the card itself is grey. So, who knows? Who knows at this point? Who knows? Unless you packed one, then you know. No walk out. It is boards. Belgium. Goalkeeper. Castiles. Woo. Let's go. Got tons of these premium gold players packed though. So we could have a good chance of packing something. Yo, walk out. Let's go. Another walk out for the day. Brazil. Left wing, left wing. Centre forward. Yo, Bobby Firmino. I wonder if it's tradable. I can't imagine it would be. But that's a pretty good pull. Robert Firmino. Very, very nice. Very nice uh, card as well. It's not tradable, but uh, it's an 87 rated card that we can use in SBCs. Not very expensive anyway. Premium Electrum Players Pack number one. We've got a few of these. A few saved up from rewards and objectives and that kind of stuff. No board. You love to see it. So, Mega Pack to end things off. Mega Pack. Is it going to be a Mega Pack? Yo, walk out. Let's go. It is a mega pack. German. CDM. Kimmich. Is that good? I don't know if that's good or not. 88 rated. Could there be, would there be, a foot freeze player in the pack as well? That dance is disgusting. Could there be a player in the pack? No. No, they can't. But Kimmich is very nice. 88 rated player. Very nice for the uh, for some SBCs, possibly. And there we go. So we ended off with a walkout. Who would have thought? Who would write this stuff? Not me. Can you imagine if we got like a lone foot freeze player? Can you imagine? It's a walkout, which is a bit weird. Morocco. Striker. Why is that a walkout? Unless he's 84 rated. That would be why. <laughs> God damn. 
I mean, I guess that's probably one of the best things you probably could have got. Wait. Wait, I just packed a, a tradable 84 rated inform out of a loan reward pack. That's weird. I thought he was the loan player, but then I realized Van der Beek is. That's crazy. It was like 15,000 coins. Hey, oh, big ups. I'll take that. Who would have thought one of the best packs we've got is a... Uh, is, uh, was a loan reward pack, but uh, there we are. So that is... That is the content today. That is the content for 6pm. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed. We've got a few walkouts, to be fair. I think it was... We got... Three walkouts, didn't we? We got Lewandowski, we got Kimmich, and then we got... Um, oh no, we got four, so we got Firmino, Lewandowski, Kimmich, and then that inform, which I've forgotten his name of. Um, good stuff, to be fair. I can't argue with all those free packs we've just acquired by playing the game and marquee matchups and stuff. Um, actually pulled out some nice rewards for some future SBCs that I probably might do if I care about them too much um but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video there's been a lot of content to go through today all of the foot freeze players we've got all of the uh SPC players obviously the icon swaps as well icon players in packs um there's been a lot of stuff obviously objective players as well very very exciting time to be alive but hopefully you have enjoyed this video Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do drop it a like. I know it might have been a bit of a longer one, so I can't imagine anybody would have stuck around to this part. But if you have, drop it a like. Very much appreciated. If you want to see more, if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.